Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Uh, today we're actually not playing a quiz, you'll see we're on GeoGuessr, which I'm sure most of you watching are familiar with, uh, for various reasons. Um, but because I don't want to just play GeoGuessr normally, because I'm not very good at it compared to most people who go on YouTube and play it, I thought I would do something a little bit different, which is playing a satellite mode trying to identify capitals of the world based on the satellite. Um, you do need a plugin to do this. Uh, which is the Unity script, um, which you can get from uh, just by Googling it, to be honest. Um, it's not the hardest thing in the world to find. Um, and then, yeah, you can sort out countries, or you can look at um, satellites or 3D images. Um, I'm not going to explain the fully de full details here of how to get it, um, because I'm not very good at explaining that kind of technical jargon. Um, but yeah, we can have beautiful maps like this, um, and it still plays the same as GeoCast, so we still have to pinpoint it where we are on the map. Uh, the only difference is the clues we have are top-down satellites. So, um, all of these are pointing north. Um, we can zoom in, which is great. And there's no reason not to aim for 25,000 on this. Like, a perfect score should definitely be doable. So, um, this includes every country in the world, which is fantastic. And I have played a few games like this on Sporkle before as well, but of course it's just a picture there, whereas this way you can move around and explore. So, where are we? That is the first thing we need to consider. We are possibly somewhere in the Middle East, I think. Um, just looking at some of this architecture. Hopefully this doesn't lag too much. Last time I did a GeoGuessr video, it lagged quite badly. Um, but yeah, looking at some of this, it's obviously not... Oh, hold on, I was going to say it's obviously not Dubai, but Dubai is not the capital of the UAE. So it could very easily be uh, Abu Dhabi, which is the capital of the UAE. So, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to jump into Abu Dhabi and see if it matches. And straight away, I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Okay, we can't zoom out any further. But it is pointing the same direction, isn't it? I mean, it's not a perfect match. But I'm not sure how much development possible. I mean, how far down do we go there? Yeah, I'm actually not convinced this is right. Let's have a look at some other places and see if we can uh, find something a little bit more accurate. Doha uh, doesn't match up. Uh, Bahrain, Manama. This is it, right? Yep, yeah, you can see we have the... Um, this, I'm going to say some kind of man-made island matches up to this here. So yeah, it's Manama. So we're in the right place, the right part of the world. Now we just have to um, ID where we are, which actually isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. So let's move this over here. We'll make the map a little bit bigger and work out. So we've got this section here, which matches up to this. Uh, then we've got a big road, which I guess is this one here, Shark Darge Avenue, which comes down um, to around here. Yep, perfect. So this should be the gardens we're looking at here, and this, I presume, is some kind of formal building. So we should be right here and get 5,000 points to start. Excellent. Next round. Okay, this is less immediately obvious. Uh, we're inland. Uh, first thought is it might be European, perhaps. Um, but let's jump in and find out where we could be. It looks like a biggish city, uh, which does... I was going to say does narrow it down a bit, but actually not really because most capital cities are decently sized. It being a smaller city would narrow it down more. We do have a river which runs through it, which is quite good, because we're going to be able to use the shape of the river to um, identify which... Um, to make sure we're in the right place. So I'm just going to put my brightness up a little bit. Uh, it's going to shine off my glasses a bit, but um, otherwise I'm not going to be able to <laughs> do much. What have we got down here? It looks like I get a tallish building, perhaps. 
See, I was thinking this might be Brussels, maybe. Um, let's jump in and have a look. We've got a football field. Yeah, football field. So that seems to confirm that it's more likely to be in Europe. Yeah, let's check out some options and see. What does Brussels look like? Okay, see, Brussels does have a river, but, well, it has canals, right, by the look of it. There's no river which runs through it the same way this river does. So, we, what is another option? We don't have any coastline, do we? Not really. We do have this quite big lake that could possibly help us as well, but really the shape of the river is what's going to, what's going to get us there. Let's try Berlin. Okay, is Berlin a possibility, or am I just making that up? No, it, it is Berlin, right? Okay, yeah, because this is the Grosse Tiergarten, which will be here. Uh, yeah, does this lead all the way to the Brandenburg Gate, doesn't it? Yeah, so we've got Tiergarten, and this is the Brandenburg Gate here, which is right here. Awesome. Cool. This is a fun way to explore the world. Okay, so now we just need to match where we are. So we keep on going east from the Brandenburg Gate, uh, across a bridge, which will be here, and then there should be a, yep, uh, this is Museum Insel, yep, this is the museum on the island. I actually knew what this island was called at some point, but um, I don't anymore. So I guess we're going to just go, I mean, is that this building here? Yeah, so we should be like just about there. I think that'll be close enough. Nine meters away. Fantastic. Two out of, done, three to go. Nothing super popular, difficult so far, but I say that. And we're very far from Europe here, I would say. This is as far out as we can go uh right okay so again this place looks kind of big it looks african at first glance uh, we do have an airport down here which will help us get our bearings and then it looks like kind of a big city doesn't it like if we zoom in and have a look at like what the houses are looking like uh yeah the satellite imagery doesn't go super detailed but um based on the yeah, the soil and the layout. You can say it's a fairly densely populated city. Is that a river? Or was it some kind of like just path through the middle of town? We do have this one like kind of massive boulevard here. Okay. I have thought that this could be um, the two capital cities of the two Congos. This being Kinshasa and this being Brazzaville. So let's jump in and see if those fit, because I know they just exist opposite the river from each other, and immediately I'm liking my hunch. So this would be Brazzaville here, and this would be Kinshasa down the bottom. Do we have these islands in the middle? Not really in the same way. No, actually less than I thought. Because this river seems to peter out a little bit, doesn't it? Um, rather than get bigger. So maybe I'm off base a little bit here. And yeah, there's no like um, big island here which would match to this one. So, unfortunately, that seems to have been a bit of a... Uh, Yeah, a bit of a um, false hope there. So, where else could this be? It's an inland city, we know that. Um, I think the best thing for me to do is just to start looking for inland cities. And I know it has to be pretty big, because this looks like a, a decently sized place. Um, and we're going to have to find one where there's a river which matches, um, matches what we're looking for. A is probably not big enough. 
Uh, okay, um, let's do this methodically, I think will be the best way. Where could this be? So North Africa, I think we can rule out. Mauritania. What about Bamako? It's Bamako, right? Yeah, those islands match. These islands here match these islands here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's a perfect match. Bamako is one of the biggest, um, biggest cities in that part of Africa. So now, this is uh, not the easiest, but we just have to use the map to uh, find our way to where we need to be. So it is, this is the, uh, the bridge to the west of those islands. Uh, and we're going to follow this up. Presumably this intersection is, matches this one here. And then if we go here, that will be here. We'll zoom in a bit further. Okay. So I'm thinking this little triangle here is this triangle here. We carry on that presumably will be there. And then, yeah, we're going to be there just before it starts to kink up. So I'm thinking we're going to be... Hold on, there is a road here, right? And that road... Okay, maybe this road here is actually... Maybe here is here, because this road loops around and kind of like a, yeah, that makes the most sense. And then we've got this building, yeah, this building corresponds to Mali Bamako. Well, where did my map go? Uh, and then this is some kind of swimming pool, so we should be right there. Okay, zero meters, spot on. You couldn't get any closer. Okay, let's move on to number three. We've been going for 12 minutes, that's not too bad. Right, we do have a coastline, which is great. We can't zoom out any further than this. We do have some populous mountains to the south. And we do have some mountains to the north as well. Um, what kind of climate are we looking at? Looks... Well, climate, it's quite green. Uh, in terms of the demographics, it's kind of a bit hard to tell from this angle. Um, there was a port, was there? Did I see a port? Okay, there was a port here. It's not the biggest one I've ever seen. But, you know, it's decently sized. I did have one thought originally, which was perhaps Port Our Prince, but I'm not sure if the, um, because I know they've kind of got this section here which comes around. Uh, and actually, you know, that might not be the worst thinking, because this little, um, I guess you'd call it like a peninsula perhaps, is there, and we do have the airport here. Yeah, it just fits the geography, you know, of what I know about Port-au-Prince, which is right on this little kind of inlet here. So that actually has worked out pretty well, if that is right. Um, what else can we use to confirm that we are in Port-au-Prince? I mean, we are, right? Like, there's this, yeah, there's a little um, pier, I guess, is it, here? Okay, good, so we're Port-au-Prince, that was... um. <laughs> Surprisingly easy. Right, now we just need to work out exactly where we are in Port Our Prince. So that seems to be quite a busy part of the world. Um, very crowded city, or densely populated, I should say. Um, okay, so let's work out where we are. So this river mouth here goes through here. Let's follow the river. Okay, so this is where the river yeah, um, bends, which is here. And then there should be a, oh gosh. This is gonna be hard to get it accurate. Okay, so there should be a, a street here which runs diagonally across the river. But we want the one, two, three up from that. So one, two, three is this one here which should be a one-way street. This intersection will be this one here. Oh gosh, that's too too close. 
and then we should be coming across one more to a bit of a junction here which is possible right yeah it's coming up here route 22nd down here I mean I can't really tell but there should be a bank like around here and then we're kind of right in the middle okay I don't think I'm gonna get any better than that okay spot on 12 meters Great. Is that four down, right? Yep, it's four down. So we've got one more to go. Okay, it's given us a uh, one which is not easy at the end, which is good. Because um, if I'd got London or Paris or Washington or even Wellington, it would have been perhaps a bit, um, a bit simple. But at least we have a challenge um, to see us home. Right, okay, so let's look at the clues again here. We have a reasonably arid climate. Um, we have a golf course here, which seems like the height of decadence um, in what looks to be a fairly desert climate. The amount of water that golf course is using will be disgusting. Um, okay, there's a monument here. There's some football stadiums here. I'm going to say that this is probably somewhere in the Middle East again, or at the very least somewhere in Central Asia. And now it's not the biggest place I've seen. Um, there's an airport here which looks fairly modern, I'm going to be honest. Um, and there's like compounds and stuff here, like this looks like brand new housing. Um, what about the city itself? Is there like an old town or something like that? I mean, it is more built up the further you get into town. Right, so let's think about this. If we zoom out any further, we can't see any coasts. So let's try some options. Muscat is on the coast. Uh, we've already visited Dubai, Qatar, Bahrain. I don't think it'll be Riyadh. I think it's probably a bit too small to be Riyadh. See, this is cool, though, because you visit places in GeoGuessr you normally wouldn't visit, right? Because um, these places just aren't on the normal map. Okay, it's not Kuwait City. Definitely not Baghdad, or Yemen, or Damascus. I don't think it will be Amman. But let's just double-check and see. No, Amman is too too old this one looks a bit more planned right so my other thought was if it wasn't going to be one of those gulf states was that it might be a place in central asia just because i know they've had a little bit more um some of them are kind of planned cities so the ashgabat doesn't look too bad on first glass does it like the airport seems to yeah the airport matches perfectly okay we got there and is there this golf course here? I mean, there's the Memorial People's Complex, which is, this is the Memorial Park here, right? And then the golf course for rich people, I guess, is somewhere around here. Okay, um, so this should be easy enough to find. Um, there is a stadium. Uh, where is the stadium? Is that going to help us locate it? What is this? The, um, is that the stadium there? I think it... Well, I'm not sure if that's the right stadium or not. But anyway, we'll find it with another way. Uh, this little kink in the road here will help us. And then we go further down. So not quite all the way to this junction. This little loop here is this loop here. Okay, and then... I'm going to say this intersection here is this one which comes down here here so we need to you know we don't have as much to go on here because we're not on a block but there is this um deviation in the road which i'm going to say is here so we probably should be just about here i would say that's that looks close enough to me wish me luck oh hold on are we no this is the train tracks here right so we're probably not all the way on the train tracks we're probably a little bit closer 
69 meters. Close enough for the 5,000 points. Fantastic. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we got to visit, um, what was that, uh, Manama? Yeah, perfect, which I'd not seen before. Berlin, Bamako, Port Al Prince, and Ashgabat. Um, I'll leave the link to the plugin and the script in the um, description below, as well as the link to this particular map, which is designed to, specifically to use with um, satellites. And I guess I probably should have made this a challenge, but I forgot, so apologies. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. Let me know if you want me to have another go at this, or perhaps we can um, try some other aspects, uh, some other fun maps on GeoGuessr as well. Just don't ask me to play the um, standard world map or anything like that, because it's, uh, yeah, I mean, go and watch other people to do that. But it'll, you'll get much more enjoyment. <laughs> Back to Sporkle soon, anyway. Kakiteano. See you later. Bye.